many different types of tillage that most people don't even think about. So there's deep tillage, vertical tillage, high speed tillage, and then on those tillage equipment, you can have discs, you can have sweeps, you can have shovels, you can have shanks. There are different kinds of pieces that go on to that implement, depending on the kind of tillage you want to do. If you want to do really deep tillage, uh, to break up a compaction layer, say, you are going to put it deeper in the ground, use something wider, where if you're going to do a more shallower tillage, you're going to use a smaller, narrower piece and not go in as deep. Uh, the one that I'm doing is just going right on the top. So this is what we're going to use on our very low residue crops. And it's just going to barely even go into the soil. And basically what it's doing is kind of cutting up and breaking what's on the surface so that it will help to decompose over winter. It will help make food more available to all the microbes and earthworms and different things that are going to be in the soil that are going to need food. It's going to help to break that down a little easier. It's going to get the moisture in it, which is going to make it a little more soggier. I mean, you know how things um, tend to break down more when they're wet. So when people say tillage, I just want you to be aware that we have implements like discs and plows and then we have chisel plows which I was doing last week and those go a little bit deeper and then we have our cultivator which doesn't go as deep and usually you put a sweep on there and that just helps prepare the seed bed in the spring. The frames on these equipment are totally different so that's another way that you can tell um, between a cultivator and a chisel plow is by looking at the braid. Because some guys um, use sweeps and shanks and things interchangeably between the two, depending on what crop you're going to use it on, what type of tillage you're going to do, and then also the type of soil you have. So just remember when people talk about no-till and tillage, there's no way where we are in this high water table that we could do zero tillage at all. We have to do some type of tillage on certain fields, certain crops to help us get ready for spring. We usually just would always chisel plow or cultivate. Well, we were able to get a chisel plow and then put a thing called coulters. They're like a really wavy disc and it's a high speed tillage and it goes over the top. And so that is not breaking up the soil where we want it to be broke up. Say you're more highly erodible land don't want to do a lot of tillage on those. We don't cultivate or chisel plow our areas, like our hilltops, again, the highly erodible areas. We don't want to, um, we want to leave that stubble up there because we don't want the wind to blow um, the dirt away over the winter. So we make sure we lift the implement up in those certain areas. So just because we do tillage doesn't mean we do tillage over the whole entire field and we're not doing a deep destructive tillage on every acre of our land. So just when someone talks about tillage, you need to be asked more specifics. What kind of tillage? What are you using? Where, what crop are you using it on? And that will help make a big difference in the understanding of why they're doing it um, and just to help them for the crop for next year.